Joining me now on Zoom is Liz Snyder from Hillside Garden Landscaping. And Liz, today you're answering some viewer questions for us. Uh, so let's jump right into this first question that was sent in. Um, our first viewer actually sent along a photo um, and question. I have noticed the leaves of my boxwood are curling and appear cupped. Is it okay and what should I do? What, what we're seeing in that photo, that cupping of the leaves, is uh, insect damage. And the, the insect that does that is called boxwood psyllid. Um, it's a little fly, and the, the larva emerge, and then there's a little fly. And when it feeds on the boxwood, everywhere that it bites, it makes like a tiny little pinprick. Um, and that can cause that cupping of the leaves. And you see that this time of year, because in late May is when that little fly is feeding. Um, it's a very short window. Um, they, they, sh they hatch, they munch on the plant, and then essentially they're gone within less than two weeks. Um, so um, right now, you know, if you when looking at that plant, there's none of that insect on there. It's already gone for the year. So it makes no sense to treat it right now because the insect's not there and there's nothing you can do, you know, for those leaves right now. Um, if you if it had been earlier, kind of late May, and you're seeing that little fly on there, you can treat it with an insecticidal soap, um, and that is very mild, and that would just kill the bugs that are on it, kind of stop them from doing additional damage. Um, next, if you have a boxwood that's prone to that, and you've seen that cupping for the last couple of seasons, there's something you can do as a preventative for next spring. So next spring, kind of late April, you know, early May, you could do a soil drench um, of an insecticide where you would or mix with water and pour that at the base of the plant. The plant takes that up through the roots and it's a preventative. So by the time those insects hatch, they go to bite it, the problem is solved. <laughs> um, you can also treat the plant with dor while it's dormant before it starts growing with a horticultural oil for that. But again, right now the, the insect is gone. There's nothing you can really do about it. Um, it's, the cupped leaves aren't gonna hurt the boxwood. They just have that little kind of funky look to them, but they'll be just fine. Um, that insect doesn't kill the boxwood. If it did it for multiple seasons over and over and over, then you might have an issue. Okay, gotcha. Um, so we have our second question from a viewer. She says, my asparagus has grown out and is almost five inches tall. Should I be cutting that back? Um, I, I'm assuming that that's probably five feet. Oh, five feet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's okay. But once asparagus, once you've har harvested it a few times for the, for the year, it's going to spring right up and it, it bolts, you know, and it goes to frond. And they can be very, very tall. And I, I've, I've supplied, you know, a photo for that. They're very big. And what you want to do is leave that um, for the summer because that's feeding the roots of that asparagus plant. And what's kind of neat is it, in a few weeks here, it's going to start to make some little berries on there that kind of turn red. Uh, those berries fall off those fronds and they fall down into the raised bed or the garden and those can become new plants. Uh, but you want to leave that up, you know, until fall and then once it, it's actually a pretty yellow fall color, uh, then you can chop that down to the base you know, of the plant. Um, similar to that, right now rhubarb is, is flowering and it gets great big white stalks on that. Um, you can enjoy that if you want, but you can cut that off if you don't want to you know, look at it. And there's actually theories that say that if you leave that uh, flower on there, it can make the rhubarb more bitter. Um, so you can cut those flowers off, but you want to leave the leaves up until fall because again, that is sending some energy to the crown of the plant and, and preparing it for the next season. Then in the fall, you can go ahead and cut that to the ground. Okay. Definitely a big difference between a five-inch asparagus and a five-foot asparagus, so that's... <laughs> if it's my... five inches, that's when you were harvesting it and having yummy <laughs> My mistake there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Liz, for joining us today. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm Liz Snyder, your home gardener from Hillside Garden Landscaping. You can watch Home Gardener every week only on Around the Tears. For today's segment and to find out more, head to WBNG.com, click on Around the Tears, and select Home Gardener from the drop-down menu. And don't forget, if you have any home gardening questions that you want answered, send them to homegardener at hillsidegl.com.